Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Yael and today I want to talk to you about the 12 senses of the soul. According to Sefer Yetzirah, we have 12 senses of the soul which correlate with the 12 months of the year, 12 tribes. So each astrological sign has his special sense and we are encouraged to develop the sense that is most natural to us. It's like what we are best at, but of course to develop all the 12 senses because according to Kabbalah, a complete human like God created us does use all the 12. So I'm going to focus today on uh, three different senses. I'm starting with Libra, which is a sense of touch. Then I'm going to go to Scorpio, which is smelling, and I'm going to end it up with Sagittarius today, which is dreaming. The reason I decided to start with Libra is because according to Judaism, Libra, the month of Tishrei, is the time when creation began. The Jewish calendar starts with Nisan, which is Aries season, and we see it as a sort of foundation to the month of Tishrei where Libra starts and creation begins. So every sign has a sign that opposed to that. If you know astrology, you probably know, which is Libra Aries, then we have Scorpio Taurus and Sagittarius Gemini. And the senses also work together. So I will break it down now. If you are interested also to know more about all the 12, I will add a table in the end where I break down all the 12. So if you're interested, you can wait till the end or just scroll. So starting with Libra, the sense of touch. The idea is that all of us, everything that is created in this universe has its spiritual substance, its godly essence, and its external coat. Looking at things from the Libra approach would be understanding first that everything has harmony. Everything in this world has its godly essence and it's all connected. And when we connect on a spiritual basis, then after that, the touch, the physical connection is easy. It moves uh, harmoniously. So touching in a way is very private. It's very penetrating. And in order to touch something, we need to have a sort of foundation for that. And that is where Aries comes. So in order to touch something, we have to first speak, right? We have to create a sort of connection through speech. So the idea is that sense of touch, when we look at the senses of the soul, is to be able to to touch someone, but with respecting the godly essence of this person. And to be able to touch, but not from uh, selfish motivations. So Libra is the sign of we, okay? What I can give to another person. If you are a Libra, or if you worked ever with Libras, you know that they give a lot from themselves to the situation, to the company, to the partnership. That's why it's a sign of partnership. Because when we enter a partnership, we realize that there is some sort of sacrifice that I will need to do at some point. And they're willing to do that. They're willing to put sometimes their opinion on the side, their benefits, everything, in order for the company, for the partnership to work. Libra is also the sign that is associated with, with the touch between a man and a woman. And if you didn't know this, Judaism speaks a lot about the connection between a man and a woman and that is why actually we start in Tishrei, Libra and that is when according to the Bible also the woman was created and the man and the universe began. So in order to touch something is to also understand what we are touching, okay? How to approach a certain being or thing. We have to be very sensitive and in a way, we might be touching someone, but we almost are not really touching the true essence of the soul. The real touch, the real intimacy is actually through speech. When you share with each other your fears, your wants, your dreams, your emotions, all of that, and then the physical 
is like a response to that. What is also important when we think of the idea of touching is understanding the idea of harmony and beauty. A lot of people that are born with a Libra sun are very attracted to any anything that is related to aesthetics, beauty, design, art, uh, architecture, also justice. The idea is that we want to touch something in the world and still maintain the harmonious of life. Libra hates fighting. Libra hates to see suffering. So when we touch something, when we engage with someone, it we need to always ask ourselves, am I going to be able to touch this person and still maintain the harmony of everything? So this is the idea of touching as a sense of the soul. Next is Scorpio. So Scorpio is associated with the month of Cheshvan and the sense of smell. The sense of smell is maybe the highest of all the senses of the soul because it deals with air, okay? It deals with something very spiritual, very unseen, very hard to detect. So <laughs> Scorpios sometimes can be that sort of sign that is able to capture the spiritual essence of things. When we're talking about smelling, it's different than just smelling something in, in just our physical nose, but it's also smelling the essence of something, reading in between the lines, understanding what someone is, what a situation is, what an object is. And they say in Chazal that the Messiah will, when he comes, he will judge everyone based on their smell. It's considered to be a scent that is untouched yet, okay? So we had the first sin that affected our senses, but smell is a sense that our soul still enjoys. Another thing that is important to appreciate about the scent of smell is that like Scorpios, when we smell something, it's sometimes very interesting, the complexity of it. So the more complex it is, our curiosity grows. So Scorpio is very much attracted to mystery, solving um, riddles, solving a situation, going to the unknown, going to something that is unconventional. So when we smell something that is more intricate, it might arouse all our body, right? Because we don't really know what it is, it's unfamiliar. Um, smell is also associated with primal things. We talked about opposing signs and Scorpio is opposing Taurus, which is the month of Yar. So if Scorpio is smelling, Yar is inspecting, okay? So it's a visual inspection. This means that Scorpio brings the illogical, intuitive aspect to any situation, okay? so. When you inspect something, you usually use like what you can see, the facts, but when you smell while you're inspecting, you tune into other parts of yourself. So using our sense of smell in every situation means that we trust the things that we don't see. We trust our intuition. We trust what we can smell in between the lines and we let that guide us. So a lot of Scorpios that made it big or their philosophy became big is because they allow themselves to tune into the invisible realm to have this faith in something that is unseen and like a detective that goes and solves a mystery based on a hunch. Um, also some philosophies that come from Scorpios are based on that thing inside of you that guides you. Moving on to Sagittarius, the month of Kislev, which is associated with sleeping. So sleeping is considered to be a sense of the soul and it means to know when to relax and let the universe do its part. So as we know, Sagittarius are very bubbly. They're like the wild card. Uh, they love to travel. They are big believers in miracles and oftentimes miracles happen to them. But one thing that is common to many Sagittarius is that they physically sometimes like to decompress and deal with their stress through sleeping. And this teaches us that for miracles sometimes to happen in our life, we need to know when to let go. And also we need to know when it's time to tune into our fantasy, to daydream 
and uh, to leave what we believe is possible behind. So sleeping, when we're talking about sleeping in, in terms of the sense of the soul, it means to put me, my ego, everything I know about the world on hold and allow myself to go into a space that is unknown. So I'm putting myself my old self to sleep and that correlates with the bible when uh, god created the first man adam he put him to sleep and then he created eve from his rib so basically he needed to put him to sleep in order for him to experience something new another thing that you should know about sagittarius which is very interesting when we're talking about dreams is that sagittarius can become great teachers. They teach with a lot of enthusiasm. They take any kind of boring material and they want to put life into it. Okay, It's very important for them to be exciting. And in a way, that's what our dreams should be. Dreams should be something that moves us, that inspire us, that have that extra kind of emotion put into it. And that is true when we dream at night. We usually remember the dreams that caused us some emotional reactions and just a little word about dreams themselves. The idea of dealing with our dreams at night is the more we notice our daily thoughts, actions, what we engage in, that will be reflected in our dreams because our dreams are a reflection of our daily life many many times also when we talk about dreams and the idea of the universe responding to my dream the universe helping me with my dream is honesty this is very apparent also in Sagittarius they care a lot about being honest being honest with other people and doing business with people that are honest with them and when miracles happen in our life, often it happens because we do something wholeheartedly. We pray for something because we really feel we want it. We did the maximum we could in order to get it. And then just we let it go. So being honest and wanting to get a result is very important. Finishing up with Sagittarius. So opposing to Sagittarius would be Gemini. And Gemini is about walking. That's the sense of the soul that is associated with Gemini and Sagittarius is sleeping. So we need to know when it's time to walk and when it's time to stop. That is actually important in our development. When it's our time to stop, rest, dream, and then move on. So like I promised, I'm gonna show you this table that shows the 12 signs and the 12 senses. We're starting with Aries, which is speech. Then we have Taurus, inspect. Gemini, walk. Cancer, C, Leo, hear, Virgo, correct or mend, Libra, touch, Scorpio, smell, Sagittarius, sleep, Capricorn, anger, Aquarius, eat, and Pisces, laughter. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to make more of those for you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.